hop it in and welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Issa Baza. So glad you could join us. Big changes are coming to Guam's billion dollar tourism industry, with the island's second largest visitor market positioned to take the top spot in the coming years. Here's a closer look at projected shifts in the industry. Business is booming in Guam's number one market. But as Guam Visitors Bureau General Manager Nate DeKnight told the Rotary Club of Northern Guam this week, work needs to be done to keep the tourism industry thriving, especially considering the radical shifts in the existing market. In uh, 2016, we had 1.5 million, so uh, a big growth. Um, tourism market, I, I don't know if we have a slide on this later, Josh, has really been changing. The visitor rebel mix of the While Japan has been Guam's top market for the past two decades, arrivals from Korea could soon take the top spot. Last year, arrivals from Japan made up 49 percent of visitors, while those from Korea made up 34 percent. The shift may be related in part to airline seat capacity, with only four airlines servicing Japan and five servicing Korea. A sixth airline, Air Seoul, is expected to enter the Guam market later this year. Well, number one, the, the whole, Guam has, you know, we've seen a decline in Japan. And, and part of that reason is uh, the air seats, as I mentioned, but Guam has become a more expensive destination. So the average package price for Guam uh, five years ago was about $700, or over $1,000. And so, you know, you talk about a 30.40% price increase. This shift is noticeable in the average room rate, which has grown from $130 per room night five years ago to $198 per room night today. The time we're in has been the most change and disruptive time in the travel industry that we've ever seen. As the Korea market grows, the night said the island can expect to see a range of visitors, from families to budget and high-end spenders. Meanwhile, Japan is seeing an increasingly aging population, which is why GVB is hoping to hone in on the country's silver market. We're shifting in Japan to show Guam as more of a value, you know, more of a premium destination and not a budget destination, not offering those two $300 packages. And of course, you're going to lose some volume by doing that, but in the long run, I think that's the way it has to be in Japan because it's not, the market's not expanding. We're having With tourism employing over 20,000 jobs and bringing in roughly $240 million in taxes every year, DeKnight said the island needs to continually invest in infrastructure and culture in order to propel the industry toward its goal of bringing in 2 million visitors by 2020. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. It's the agency that handles tax refunds, driver's licenses, and more. The Department of Revenue Tax recently went before lawmakers for its budget hearing requesting almost $14 million for fiscal year 18. The request is a $1.5 million increase from last year's budget. The question on everyone's mind, why the long wait? Lawmakers telling DRT leadership that many constituents have called to complain about the length of time it takes to complete services at the agency. Revintax Deputy Director Marie Benito thanks the public for their patience and encourages the community to use online appointment services and other services provided on their website. They're also hoping to fill more than 20 vacancies they believe will help to ease up wait times. In this next story, Joe Nuggan Charfris talks to an avid runner pounding the pavement in hopes of bringing awareness about the lack of safety for the island's pedestrians and the need for road improvements. For 20-year-old Dennis Daly, action speaks louder than words. And for the past few weeks, the Manila resident has been taking to the streets, running from village to village and speaking with mayors and vice mayors about the condition of the roads, the lack of safety on the roadways, and of course, the improvements needed. My intentions isn't to, you know, incite a riot or anything like that, anything negative. It's just to, you know, uh, promote um, positive, positive, um, I want to say, uh, positive and peaceful protesting, something that stands for a greater cause. What prompted the U.S. Army specialists to run for awareness? It was an incident that took place on Father's Day in which a pair of cyclists were struck by a vehicle while riding on Route 3 in Dededo. Fortunately, they survived. There was also an incident that occurred a while back that hits close to home for Daly. During my time in uh, Simon Sanchez High School, I, I you know, lost several uh, schoolmates. I wouldn't say classmates or you know, but uh, schoolmates uh, from um, auto pedestrian casualties. He hopes that by personally interacting with the mayors and most especially the legislative body, his concerns will be addressed. It's for everyone that occupies the roads because 
you know, uh, commuting from place to place, uh, sometimes on foot or on a bike, you know, you get cautious about, uh, or this, uh, uh, you get uh, cautious about different dangers that you're prone to. And um, a lot of the times the roadways don't accommodate for your uh, co uh, commuting. To date, he's ran over 50 miles and has spoken briefly with mayors from Manila, Sinahanya, Piti, Asin Maina, Jigo, Orta Chalampago, and Naganya, discussing everything from road issues within the village and what they're doing to ensure pedestrian safety. And it seems the problem stems from lack of funding. He says it would also be nice to have a law or bill passed that would ensure all persons after a certain time wear a reflective vest or gear. That in itself would... would I want to say increase if it's a law and you leave your home without a reflective vest then you're in trouble and then you know it's kind of a, a balance you know and a balancing act and I think that that in itself would be would be amazing and I highly encourage that uh, Guam's uh, elected officials consider some kind of a law or bill to be passed to support that. He adds that the legislature needs to really analyze the budget and make sure funds are being used wisely. That in itself would assist uh, the people of Guam in better understanding how the Gulf of Guam is operating because uh, transparency is very important. If you would like to join Dali in his mission or would like more information you can find him on Facebook or at the Manila Mayor's Office, where he routinely starts his daily runs. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gincharfris. Thanks, Joan. Guam's special education program may face difficulty continuing services at existing levels next school year. That according to a citizen-centric report issued by the Guam Department of Education in June. The report indicates that the island's federally funded special education programs are expected to receive the same amount of funding in the upcoming school year, or about $14.1 million in SPED Part B grants and $1.5 million in SPED Part C funding. However, flat funding will make it difficult to maintain services due to organic growth in personnel costs and contracts. Superintendent John Fernandez said DOE requested additional funding to support 80 school aid positions needed to assist students with disabilities, which can no longer be afforded under the federal grant. He said he'll continue to work with the legislature to find a solution. Sanctuary Inc. was created to offer an alternative to the juvenile justice system for abused, neglected, runaway, homeless, at-risk youth. The local nonprofit organization recently received three-year accreditation. Jonah Goncharfris reports. Help youth and families help themselves is something Sanctuary Incorporated has been doing for the past 45 years by providing critical services and programs for at-risk youth on island and their loved ones. At the helm is Executive Director Teresa Areola, who has been with the organization since October 2015. I've been with Sanctuary for the last uh, year and a half, and uh, to say the least, it's been a wonderful experience, but also very challenging. The organization who ha that has been around for 45 years, so Sanctuary Incorporated is the oldest local nonprofit organization on Guam. Recently, the local nonprofit was awarded the MAC's three year accreditation from the Commission on Accreditation of Rehabilitation Facilities. This achievement is an indication of Sanctuary's dedication. A lot of work has been done by my wonderful staff here at Sanctuary, and, uh, and we're so pleased because we are the only CARF accredited organization on the island. So, what does receiving this accreditation mean to Sanctuary, the people of Guam, and the people they serve? The fact that an, an ad uh, accreditation body sees sanctuary services and our staff as having delivered the highest quality based on over a hundred it's really over 125 standards across um, the Guam Behavioral and Child and Youth Service. We're very proud of that because it doesn't come easy it's uh, it's every day keeping up with the standards and making sure that the quality of service that the youth and families deserve is delivered by our staff. According to Areola, Sanctuary has been accredited by CARF since 2008. And with the nonprofit earning the max three years, that doesn't mean they're just going to relax until the next accreditation. All that means is that um, it's three years. Mm -hmm. And um, every year the standards change. So every year the organization like Sanctuary, who's accredited, has to keep up with the changes in the standards. It's an accomplishment that Ariola says would not have been possible without her incredible and dedicated staff, as well as the community of Guam. Guam community has been so generous all these years. Um, I would be, I, I, there's no way I could even thank 
begin to thank the laundry list of companies and individuals and families that help Sanctuary. Ariola says receiving accreditation is a testament of the hard work Sanctuary has done and continues to put in in order to ensure the quality of life for their clients improves for the better. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfras. It's become known as the blood of San Vitores, but according to Guam EPA spokesperson Nick Lee, the reddish-brown tide seen along Tumon Bay this week isn't blood or runoff, but a seasonal growth in plankton. There are dinoflagellates that uh, uh, cause the discoloration in the water. It's not blood red per se, maybe more like a crimson or a rusty brown. The tide has been observed since the 1700s and typically happens between the months of April and August. As for why it's referred to as the blood of San Vitores, Lee said the legend dates back hundreds of years. I believe it was maybe mid-1600s, uh, Father San Vitores came to Guam, spread Christianity, uh, and uh, he was executed uh, in Tumon, uh, very close to where the... Uh, the red tide or the blood of San Vitores would occur and in, in or around the same time of year of his death. So that's kind of how that legend uh, came to be associated with, um, with the red tide. Lee said the tide is not toxic or harmful to the public, adding beach advisories are posted every week on the Guam EPA website and Facebook page. Well, stay tuned next on Weekend Edition. We'll rehash some of the big stories of the past weekend. Still to come, the Guam Crime Stoppers report. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. When we face an uncertain path. When we struggle with life's challenges. And when the unexpected happens. It's a beautiful day. We rely on the people we trust. Oh, oh, oh. It's a beautiful Who we can always count on. It's a beautiful day. And the ones who give us the most care throughout the years. Rely on Calvo's Select Care to give you the comfort and security you need it's a beautiful day. wherever you are. Calvo's Select Care, health care that's always there for you. Galaxy S8 for just $99 or the S8 Plus for just $199 at IT&E. Advances in technique and medications used to prevent dental pain have shattered the myth that a dental visit is something to fear even the dreaded root canal or wisdom tooth extraction. Swabbing or spraying a topical numbing agent on before the injection and using different techniques and anesthetics can create a relatively comfortable or pain-free injection. Injections are often the most feared procedure. Some patients don't like the sounds or the vibrations of decay removal. If you're still nervous or you gag easy, despite these techniques, very safe oral medicines can be taken before your dental appointment to eliminate all fears or some clinics use nitrous oxide gas. Pain relievers can easily be prescribed to eliminate mild to severe dental discomfort after any visit. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. We shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. Oh! 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 Ruby.
Ruby Tuesday puts the O in dinner combos with Garden Bar Plus entrees for only $20.99. Choose salmon moco, petite sirloin, or pesto chicken pasta only at Ruby Tuesday. O. Confident. and welcome to Rehash, where we recap some of the big stories of the weekend. We'll start with the bad news first. Crystal, covering courts, what happened with the Ellert trial? Okay, so it was a very high-profile case involving University of Guam professor, psychology professor Dr. Michael Ellert. So, an, an incident oh, nearly three years ago apparently has landed him on uh, standing accused of digitally penetrating three females at an event at his house it was a Halloween house party. And so trials, uh, trial started on Thursday. On Friday, we heard from one of the victims herself. And um, again, she goes on the stand, very tearful, very tearful testimony. And she's recounting, recalling what, what she believes happened in the water, but no one actually saw what happened. There are the people who were swimming, but no one saw the incident. She, she clarifies for the court that she felt someone touching her breast, put their hand down her pants, but did not see who did it, didn't turn around. So we expect to hear so much more from this trial. It should go on for the next few weeks. We hear we should hear from at least four other women, even though he's only charged for three three victims. As two more are expected to take the stand, talk about how in the past they too may have been sexually assaulted by the UOG professor. And as for myself, that kind of touches on the same thing. Uh, sex crimes that also labor crimes and so um, I covered a story about human trafficking and unfortunately, you know, this happens all over the world and it does happen here in Guam. And so there's a new bill that actually passed the House of Representatives um, Congress and it was introduced by a CNMI congressman. And so what this would do would provide more resources to the Department of Labor to help train employees to recognize signs of human trafficking and help report it. So hopefully, you know, these victims can get help and um, these criminals can get put to jail. A big case that you might all recall is the Blue, Blue House. House case. And so another interesting story on a lighter note, um, but something very relevant, it's ADA Awareness Month, and so uh, you covered that. Yes, so today I worked with DISID, um, and for a few hours I got to spend some time in a wheelchair. Um, definitely a struggle for me. Um, you know, if it wasn't for Joser, our cameraman, he helped me get around. Um, we went to the legislature today. They're definitely ADA compliant. It's, it's a new Congress building. Um, they've got the ramps. They've got the parking. But unfortunately, I couldn't get into the doors very well. And according to Mr. Servino, the doors are not um, required to be automatic for ADA compliance. But that was definitely a struggle, and it really opened my eyes to a lot of a lot of the things um, you know that um, people with disabilities uh, have to go through regularly. So. All right, and Brittany, on to you. Yes, so um, this week for our Guam All Around, we have a new one, and it's one that I really enjoyed shooting and editing. It's a hike to San Carlos Falls. Um, and then Liberation Day is coming up, so we're going to be everywhere. We're going to be all over talking to people, streaming the parade. So if you don't already, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Well, definitely looking forward to seeing that uh, San Carlos Falls. And also, remember, if there are any news tips, you can just email us at reporters at KOAM.com. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's best dealership, Cars Plus and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adahi Itano program, to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, keep us small, Steve Matson. Why is tourism Guam's number one industry? Tourism benefits our economy. Visitors come to our shores to experience our island. More tourist spending 
means more dollars flowing into our economy. Tourism creates jobs. From bell service to front desk to tour agents, more jobs mean more opportunities. Tourism builds businesses. From hotels to shops to restaurants, more businesses mean more dreams come true. Tourism preserves our culture. In the visitor industry, culture takes center stage. Celebrating our culture means keeping our traditions alive. Tourism keeps our land and waters clean. It all adds up. Tourism improves our quality of life. It helps make Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Tourism works for Guam. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? Oh boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the new Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. No problem. That was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Now get 2,000 purchase allowance on the 2017 Buick Encore when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Autospot Buick today. Summertime safety is of utmost concern to each and every one of us Guamanians. So Officer Paul Tapao is here as he is each and every week. And we have summertime safety tips, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm ringing in the summer. Um, we just finished, concluded uh, our, you know, the fourth. And now we're bringing in our, our liberation. And, um, you know, summer is really a hectic time for first responders because there's a lot of uh, visiting, uh, revisiting um, natives who come back and enjoy the island or who revisit the island. And, uh, you know, um, through news recently, we've seen some tragic events that occurred. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be really, uh, you know, we can actually avoid those events by simply planning your activities accordingly with what the weather will uh, permit you for that day or just informing people where you're going to be and how long you're going to take so that people, um, you know, other family members have an idea of what's going on with your activity. So it's all about making sure that you plan mm -hmm. in an intelligent manner, that you respect everybody else around you, and you know who to call if something goes wrong or you need help. Yeah, absolutely. You know, don't take things for granted just because, you know, it may look calm. When you get there, you jump in the water, the winds start picking up, and the water gets choppy, and then you're in a predicament that you can't get out of. So really plan your activity accordingly to what, um, you know, permits itself, weather and, of course, location, and um, informing, uh, you know, somebody that you trust that, this is where I'm going to be at. All right, once again, where can people go if they want more information? Uh, you can call Guam Fire. You can call the Guam Police Department if you want to uh, stay safe within the community. But if you really want to find out more information about our current crimes and what's going on, give us a call at 477-HELP. All right, we appreciate it as always. Thank you. And we appreciate you guys for watching, and please continue to do so after this commercial break. It's Nissan's Stay Fit sales event. Fitness is important. New Nissan Service Pros are like trainers for my car's fitness. Now check out this heart racing deal. Rogue starting at just one thirty-seven per pay period. The top safety pick Rogue, yours starting at one thirty-seven per pay period. And your new car fit can includes free service, free car washes, and your own personal fitness watch. Keeping it fit and clean with free car washes leaves me more time to focus on keeping myself fit. The Stay Fit sales event. Find out more at Nissan Upper Tumon or online at NissanGuam.com. Samsung Galaxy S8 for just $99 or the S8 Plus for just $199 at IT&E. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's best dealership, Cars Plus and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. 
Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. My job is to protect. My job is to defend. My job is to be tough. That's why I train. That's why I need those who are tough around me. That's why I need a truck like this. Are you ready for a big boy truck? America's best-selling truck for 40 years straight. When you're ready for a big boy truck, Triple J Ford is the place. You need to get yourself a big boy truck. Happy Liberation Day, Guam, from Autospot Buick GMC. And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shoutouts from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy birthday, Jaliana Jade Pakaigui Bloss from the family. Happy birthday, Alanika San Gil Riley. Happy birthday, lots of love from your familia. Happy birthday, C. Rhina Conception. Happy first birthday to our queen from the family. Happy birthday, Jody Babalta and Karma Babalta Kundis coming from the family. And happy birthday, Philip D. Kittichai from your entire family. Remember, you can be part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birthday. That's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.